Hello there, my crafty friends. It's Candy from SweetStamper.com, and I am pretty much on time today. I was afraid I was going to be woefully behind, but I'm actually just about two minutes behind, which is not bad at all, especially in my world when I tend to be late like all the time. So I'm just kind of pulling up my um, my Facebook Live on the computer so that I can see your comments as they come through. We're having glorious, glorious fall weather here in San Antonio. Hi, Rosemary. I'm glad you're here. So hopefully I'm going to have some folks tuning in from their lunchtime, wherever they are. And some people, which afternoon, kind of depends on the time zone that you're in. And we've got some fall stamping. Hey, Ada Kay, I'm glad to see you. And Mary's here. Yay. And Velma. Welcome, welcome, ladies. It's so good to see you. And um, like I said, we're going to do some fall stamping. I had to clear my desk. I was doing a bunch of paperwork up here yesterday. And as is usually my custom, when I'm finished at the desk, I just kind of walk away. And so I don't, I don't usually clean my desk before I walk away from it. I wish I did. But yeah, that's just not the way my brain works. So um, as a result... Um, I had to clean up before I could even get my stamping things in here. I was sending out a bunch of cards yesterday, and um, we had been doing a count for World Card Sending Week. And um, so I was sending out a bunch of cards to various folks for various reasons. Unfortunately, I have a number of people in my world right now that are on, like, really mega... Um, prayer requests, really serious stuff going on. So um, it's good to be able to send out some thinking of you cards and let your faith be greater than your fear. Hey, Terry Lynn, I'm glad to see you here too. So I think that uh, we probably have enough folks gathered here. The one thing I do need to do while I'm just saying hello is I really need to clean these stamps. I was... Uh, kind of getting a little bit of direction before I started today. And I thought, well, hey, Grace, I'm glad you're here. And Gail is here. Um, didn't actually get the card made, my, um, but I at least kind of got to experiment a little bit with the stamping so that I won't be um, totally flying by the seat of my pants when we start stamping. Hey, Faye, I'm glad you're here too. We have to actually take our doggy into the vet this afternoon for a previously unscheduled visit. So he started with a little bit of, I thought it was like a little rashy spot on his leg, but you know, they just keep at it and keep at it. So he kept licking it and licking it and we were trying everything to keep him from licking it. And we kind of have our little redneck tone of shame that we have, um, kind of fashioned around him, but he would still, if he got in a certain position, you know, he could get back there to his legs. So we were wrapping it and, but I just looked at it yesterday. I thought, you know what? I don't think this is getting better. I think it might be getting worse. So we just need to have him checked. So our precious Roscoe is going to see the vet this afternoon. So, okay, that is enough chitting and chatting. I am going to go ahead. Hey Jess, I'm glad you're here. And yes, you can position your notifications, which speaking of which, I need to turn mine off my phone so I don't get them right in the middle of my, like I'm getting right up there, right in the middle of my Facebook Live. So um, that is a very good thing is when um, you can get notified when I'm going to be going live. So that is definitely a help and I encourage you to do that. Okay. I am going to turn the camera down. You will be aghast at how many ink pads I have out. You know, I'm usually a one ink pad girl on a project. I'm using six today. So, but you know what? On Tuesdays, it's all about Teach Me Tuesday. So this is a teaching video. So I'm going to allow myself to just really kind of go hog wild with the ink colors today. And I think that you will enjoy it. So let's get the, um, let's get the camera turned down and let's get going here. Okay. I'm going to take just a minute so I can make sure that I am, um, well in 
the uh, view of the camera so that uh, you can see what we're going to be doing here is I'm using um, Winter Woods. This is a stamp set that we've actually had for a couple of years now. And I absolutely love, I love trees, I love foliage, love flowers, I like anything that uh, grows outside pretty much. And um, so we are gonna do some, we're gonna create some fall color. And I really like uh, this stamp here. Uh, you can use either as winter or you can use it as fall. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I have grabbed here several colors from my Regals color collection. This is Pumpkin Pie, Blackberry Bliss, and Old Olive. And then I'm also gonna bring in several neutrals. So I have Early Espresso, Soft Suede, and Crumb Cake. Let me just make sure, yeah, okay, everybody's good here. Okay, um, and the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of the Regal's Designer Series paper. So um, I really like these papers. They're super versatile. You can see how much I've cut up and used. Um, I've used these on a class recently and I used the neutrals on a class that I was running, that I just closed out yesterday. So uh, these are fun to use and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. But first of all, let's get our trees going. So I'm gonna be using all of these. Well, I'm not gonna use the early espresso yet. I'm gonna use all these on just my one stamp. So let me show you what we're gonna do. Ah, uh, yes. So here is my giant stamp. Nice bare trees. The leaves have already fallen off of it. And I've got a piece of very vanilla cardstock. Now, you can use Whisper White on this. A lot of times when I'm using these really warm colors, I like to use very vanilla because it's a warm, uh, it's kind of like the warmer version of Whisper White. So um, let's see what we're gonna do here. Let's, we use that one last. So let's start with Crumb Cake. And we're just gonna add a bunch of color to this stamp. So I'm gonna ink up the entire stamp with Crumb Cake, which is a pretty light, kind of medium light, neutral, beigey tone. And then I want my tree trunks to stand out just a little bit more than they would with the crumb cake. So I'm actually gonna take and I'm gonna dip the trunks into a little bit of soft suede. And I can, if I want to, I could take my, mm, yeah, I did bring it. I can take my marker and I can bring this up just a little bit. And, you know, sometimes people ask, well, you know, do I need markers and stamp and blends? And my answer is yes. Although it kind of depends on what you're wanting to do when you're stamping. So this is where your markers really come in because you can actually stamp, you can actually put ink directly on your stamp with the stamp and write markers. You cannot put stamp and blends directly on a stamp. Um, the reason being is, um, the first reason being is because it will just, it will dry just like that. They're alcohol markers, so they dry almost immediately. And you need an ink that's not going to dry immediately. Now, I'm going to take a sponge dauber, and I'm just going to take some of this pumpkin pie ink, and I am going to dab on my tree um, limbs, kind of where the, where the, leaves would be if there were some autumn leaves there. And then that's pumpkin pie that I just used. Now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna use just a little bit of Blackberry Bliss. Blackberry Bliss, Bliss sorry, is super dark. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually stamp off a little bit first, and then I'm going to bring it in and just bring a little bit of this purpley deep colors of autumn. Now, let's see how we did. We may have to do this more than once, but I think I'm going to, I think it's going to be good. And what I'm going to do before I stamp, <laughs> anytime I'm using a sponge and I like colored cardstock, I do like to make sure that my fingers are clean of ink before I turn this stamp over and apply it to my cardstock. So, 
And the other thing I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna show you this on camera, but I'm gonna huff on this. So basically, I'm just gonna breathe on this, and the moisture of my breath is gonna make sure that my ink is all very activated. You can hear me. And I'm going to place this about so on my cardstock because I wanna have a little bit of room to add some grass. Okay, let's see how we did. Oh, that's looking very nice. That is just exactly the, um, the effect I was wanting to achieve. Hey, Kathy, I'm glad you're here. So you can see that what I've done is I've created the illusion of fall leaves by all those nice colors there. Now I am going to go ahead and um, clean my stamp. And once again, I don't think, I seem to not be able to keep a um, chamois over here. That's okay, I keep my stamping scrub over here. So that is gonna be there, and um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little ground stamp. So this is really kind of a cool little stamp right here. So that is gonna allow me to put a little bit of ground there, and that is important. Let's see if my trees are, yeah, making sure they're not going off in a weird direction. Um, I have a couple of options here. Um, I could use crumb cake and make it look like, you know, there's just ground there. But I actually think, let me show you what crumb cake looks like here. I actually think I'm going to add a little bit of color with some um, old olive. So that's why I have so many of these neutrals here, is I wanted to add a little bit of um, crumb cake on the trees but you can see where the darker, I used the soft suede on the trunks to give them a little bit more definition. So let me go ahead and bring in my old olive and clean my stamp a bit over there. And voila, I found a um, chamois. So now I'm going to ink up my old olive. And again, I'm gonna stamp off because I don't want this too dark on here. And actually, that looks really cool going right over the crumb cake. It kind of looks, you know, it looks like, um, it looks like ground. So I'm really liking the way that's looking. And I think that my stamping on this focal piece is pretty much done. And I am going to take that and I'm going to layer it onto a piece of pumpkin pie designer series papers. Let me move this so you can kind of see a little better where I'm going here. So here's my pumpkin pie designer series paper. And I, although I could use this side, it's a little bit busy for me, these words. And I really kind of like in keeping with, um, you know, my trees, I like this wood grain is, is a really nice look there. So let me just go ahead and clean this ground stamp, if you're wondering what that is in this stamp set. Wonder no more. Now this is where I'm gonna bring in the, um, what do you call it, early espresso ink, because I'm gonna actually stamp directly on this colored designer series paper. And if I do that with soft suede, although it's quite dark here, by the time you add the color of this paper, it's just not gonna be dark enough. So I could, actually, you know what? Instead of bringing in the um, early espresso, I will keep it at only five ink pads if I instead use Blackberry Bliss. Blackberry Bliss is a really inky, super, excuse me, super dark purple. So I am going to just use that instead. And I really like the, um, the, the sole greeting here is thinking of you this season. I really like this because you can use this for Christmas cards. You can use it for fall cards. And I really like this sentiment. You know, sometimes, uh, especially, I have a couple of friends um, who are young widows, and this is the kind of Christmas card I like to send them. Something with thinking of you rather than a holly jolly Christmas, you know? Um, sometimes, especially that first or second Christmas after you've lost a loved one, it's really hard. And so um, I like to bring in a little bit of a softer Christmas greeting. And, oh, I can't even see. We've got more people on here. 
So yay, welcome Virginia and Kathy and Susie and Velma. So yeah, it's the illusion of fall. You're right, Susie, without actually having the fall leaves. So let's put our greeting on here. And I think what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna stamp it on here first because I wanna make sure that my stamp is mounted um, straight. I don't want to ruin everything by inking up this stamp and then stamping and then lo and behold, it's crooked. Perfect. It's lined up perfect. And actually, I think that this, um, this, um, Blackberry Bliss on the pumpkin pie is actually gonna look really cool. Oh yeah. So that, again, is quite soft. And then I'm gonna take that, and I think I'm gonna put it right here. And then that says fall. That says fall to me in all the right ways. And this is just simple stamping. You know, um, I've said, may have shared with you guys before that Stampin' Up! has a hashtag each month called, and it's hashtag simple stamping. And they add different things to it, beginning with the basics of what we use for our stamping, and that is stamp sync and paper. Well, this is exactly that. And then this month, they added in, you know, a lot of times you can add one more element, and this month it's ribbon. And so I thought, well, let's just add a little bit of this is cannot even remember the name of it. <laughs> Somebody on here will probably come up with it. This is one of those ribbons that comes as a combo pack in the annual catalog. And everything here is from our annual catalog. I know we're all geeking out over the holiday book right now, but our annual catalog still has seasonal things in it in addition to things that can be used year round. So this is a, one of those ribbon combination packs, and I love it because this is very gauzy and very open weaved, and I think it goes nicely when you're doing kind of a natural, um, it's not too dressy, it's more of a casual ribbon. And then what's really cool is that if you combine it with this um, gold that is, um, it's like a gold thread, um, it will actually start feathering, which is just going to add just a hint of gold to this and just dress it up ever so slightly. So um, I think that one of the things I like about doing this kind of an application with my, um, with my ink is it makes me feel like an artist. So um, it really just gets gets me all, um, well, yeah, it can get me inky too, but hopefully I will get my hands clean before I'm touching this um, very vanilla cardstock again. And um, it just has that, you just have that sense of being an artist, I think, when you do. That's one of the things I love about stamping is I seriously have trouble drawing a stick figure. But the artists from Stampin' Up, they create all of these beautiful stamped images. So all I have to do is come along and play with the color and the papers. And then I can actually look pretty artistic, even though, um, yeah, I would, I would miserably fail a, uh, an art class at this stage. Now, what I need to do here is, and I didn't have my seal at hand, so that's why I'm using, I mean, I... I use actually all of our adhesives, and I use them all the time. Um, but I probably on camera, I typically will just grab the seal because it's quick. But this was, I, I couldn't find my seal. So, but I do want to attach this ribbon to the, um, to the back. And I'm gonna do that with mini glue dots. Uh, mini glue dots seriously are the best way to um, attach ribbon but there is, it's especially essential when you have any of this real textured ribbon because this textured ribbon, yeah, you try to use seal on it and it, it just, it typically will not hold. So Virginia, I'm glad you like this ribbon. It really, it's just so versatile. You know, it's like that favorite pair of jeans or khakis that you can dress up or down. I think that you can dress this up or down but I do especially like um, that it's more, for the, primarily it's more of a casual ribbon, but it still has that refined look to it. So let's just stretch that, and it is stretchy, so when you cut that, yeah, you're probably gonna need less than you think you do, because it keeps stretching. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this down on my card front here. And I'm also gonna go ahead and put a little bit of that uh, gold thread. Um, it's like a gold braided thread, um, maybe not quite braided, maybe it's just kind of spun together, but it's really fun to use. And make sure I'm right side up here. So, I mean, this is super simple fall stamping, but look how artsy that looks. I mean, I feel really good about sending that to someone, somebody who is going through a rough time right now. Of course, thinking of you, it doesn't have to be going through a rough time, but it oftentimes, in my experience, is. So let's go ahead and pull in some of this. Now, it does fray very quickly, so I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a um, um, smooth edge to start with. And I think, you know, let's see, I'm going to play with this a little bit. I think I just might decide to do a bow here. I was originally going to do a knot, but I just might try my hand at doing a bow here because I have a lot of space that I think, and this is very delicate stuff, so I think that I could get away with it. Let's see. If I bring this down, of course I'm tying it upside down, which is making my, my, uh, my bow go all wonky. Let's see if I can position it a little better. Ay ay ay. Let me go this way and see if we can get a better result. Crystal, you're here. I didn't see you earlier. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you like my card. It is a fun card to make, you know. It is fun. You know, my very favorite um, thing that we do very favorite thing is the stamps. I know that a lot of people really get into the dies. For me, I'm just, I'm a plain stamp girl. I really love just plain stamps. I'm gonna bring this over. I think I do like the bow, because I think it gives a little bit of substance to this very delicate twine. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is put a mini glue dot under there, and that is gonna keep it from sliding everywhere and keep my bow where I want my bow to be because it is, um, this twine is slick. So let's get that right there. There we go. That just anchors it. And then I can trim there and there. And then if I just touch it like that, you see how it already starts to just kind of feather out and give me that nice natural look. And I think that's just a nice little way to finish it off. Now, let's do a little something on the inside. And I think I'm going to take, I brought an extra block over here. If you look at what I have here, <clears throat> my other things that I can do, I think I'm gonna take this little branch and I'm going to take this. And I do have my old olive ink over here. And I think what I'll do is just bring this in like so. And I'm just going to go there, there, and there. So now I have that on the end to put on the inside of my card, which just finishes it ever so nicely. And again, that is five different colors of ink. <laughs> which is a lot for me in one project. I have all the inks, but I don't typically use very many of them at one time. But um, this is a way that um, it doesn't look busy. I think one of the things for me is I like my uh, color schemes to look really coherent and um, pulled together. And I think that this combination of a couple of the regals and a couple of the neutrals really does the trick for me. So that's it. Thinking of you this season. And then it's all ready to write a note. So that is my simple stamping project today. Now I know that um, Thursday is when I do simple and stepped up. So this is hashtag simple stamping, but it's actually teaching you a technique. And um, just, I'm not even sure what you call this technique, but it is 
it is definitely ink to rubber is one of the ways that we um, refer to when we're putting different colors of ink on a piece of um, red rubber um, stamp. Um, you can also do a, a technique called thumping where you would take the markers and get smaller um, smaller expressions of the color, but I liked the using the sponge dauber. I like the amount of color I was able to get there. So yeah, exactly, Terry Lynn, that is a very quick card. I mean, I demonstrated the card, I taught the card, and I got done in less than 30 minutes. So that is it for today. Quick and easy uh, Teach Me Tuesday tutorial. Um, so, hey, Laura, I'm glad you joined us. I will, you know, some of these I have not been actually doing a, um, sorry, uh, a tutorial for like a PDF because they're just, they're so simple that you don't even need a measurement. But this one, you will need a couple of measurements and I'll list all of the, um, all the different ink colors and everything for you. So I hope that you enjoyed my hashtag simple stamping fall card using all items from the annual catalog for a quick and easy card that looks very artsy and is super fun to make. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, don't forget to share my video and you will be entered in for the October stamp set drawing. And um, I also want to remind you that I will be here Thursday for simple and stepped up stamping. Maybe we'll get a little bit fancier um, on Thursday since we went really simple today. But I think that even going really simple, I think this technique is fun and encourage you to try it. If you don't have Winter Woods stamp set, I highly recommend that you get this. This is just a beautiful all around, you know, good stamp set for fall and winter. It's only $23. And there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. Tons of techniques. That it really does. This particular stamp set lends itself to techniques. So I don't know. We might just use this stamp set again on Thursday. So that is it for me today. Don't forget to join me Thursday. Set your reminder so that you find out when I'm going to be going live. I appreciate you being here so much. Thank you for tuning in. And I will see you Thursday. Don't forget to share the video. Take care and God bless.